honey dragon. You're probably the cutest enemy I've ever seen in this game. Look at you here, ro robustious curves. And the fact that those wings flutter so rapidly in the wind. I bet you that honey that you're producing is probably so tasty. That's it. I must have a taste. Come here, you. Oh, yes. This is delicious. Can't believe you would store such good honey in here. This is so... Wait a minute. We're on. Uh oh No, I hate bees. Get out of here, you. I don't care for you. Go away. Anyway. Hey, everybody. It's Josh again. Welcome back to Tribal Hunter. And I was not making out with a honey dragon, so no, don't mind me. Anyway, in the last episode... We continued through a little more of the giant hive, fought a bunch more bees, rescued the last cow, and learned some backstories with, uh, Katsu and, uh, Sugar. And we also purchased some more upgrades back at Key Shop, but anyway, in this episode, we are going to continue our way through this giant hive, and hopefully make it to the end, because we only have, like, two more rooms to go, including this one, the open chamber. Of course, more honey dragons. Have an egg. Oh. <laughs> that was funny. All the the egg explosion just killed all the little slimes. <laughs> There's like numbers everywhere. Yeah, for number enthusiasts, that one's for you. Freaking bees. Super worker bees, go away. Uh oh. It's a good thing I noticed that worker bee up there before it fell. Yeah, I punch you in the face. I like that, stupid bee. Punch you guys too. These bees need to die. Uh oh. Oh, crap, I forgot to get rid of that one. Oh, thanks for that, I guess. Oh, drone bee. Got your drone. Oh, now I get rid of the worker bee. There we go. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I also did some more experience grinding back at, uh... I went to rematch Toria again and just kept defeating her. her pirate minions I kept spawning on the screen. I also did a little more exploring to see if I missed any popper mushrooms and found a hidden treasure chest. So that's why I have a little more money than I do now. There's a dumb drone. Ow. That was purple. There's narrow corridors here, which is not good. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get to the back to the abilities since I have some experience now. I can get some of these bigger ones up here that cost 1500 Uh, for which ones? I think I'll get this one, Black Hole. You can now inhale many live enemies based on your size and no longer need to stop to swallow many fourth fed projectiles, like those turkeys or the slimes. And then this one too. Unyielding spirit. Increase immunity by time by one second after getting hit. And then for the last one. Uh, I think I'll just increase my resilience to my resilience again. 50% bonus decreased damage from pierce attacks, so that's maxed out now. So now, my skin at a large size should be really resilient to pierce attacks. Uh oh, it's starting to get a little too big for these narrow corridors. Oh yeah, also you don't need to stop to huff swallow those honeybees either. They're getting a little annoying though. I need to get rid of them. Frick, why are there so many honey slimes? So yeah, that's kind of an example of the black hole. You no longer have to stop to swallow those honey slimes. I'm going up here. There's a lever I can pull to open this door. And of course, what's behind it? A honey bear. Take an egg. And die. You can take an egg too. Up two. Or three. <laughs> Oh shoot, didn't realize there was another one. Just slam the honey bear on his head. Just like jump on him. Of course, the honey can't sting me on the other side of that wall. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, stupid bee. 
But anyway, I still want to go back and close the more freaking drones. And a worker. Ow! I thought I could hit in time. It's not. You can die. I just wanted to continue to go up, because I think there's actually something up here. Yeah, there's another pop of mushroom hidden away. First, there's another drone being in the way. There you go. Bowling. Yeah, there's another popper mushroom behind this honey wall. There we go. Okay, let's get this popper mushroom. I guess that's another one down. Ow. Stupid bears. And a cow. Ah, take that. Boing. Oh, I tried to punch you. Boing. Hop over this, so I don't have to deal with it. And continue our way up. The Royal Corridor. I believe this is the last room that you need to go through in order to get to the mountaintop. So as we get through here, we'll get to the mountain. Just about had enough of this place. Above all the bees. The dumb honey slimes that are blocking my way. Yep. Come on. Wall jump. Another honey dragon. Yep. Don't sit. Hit it with eggs. Ah, you fell. <laughs> I can rid of this other worker bee. Okay, continuing on. Another drone. It's kind of funny is when I when I keep saying the drone bees, like, it kind of reminds me of like the actual drones, the ones that have like the colors that, that have like a camera on them that you can see like aerial views of, which is awesome. But these are not the good kind of drones. At least the bears don't follow you, like the workers and drones do. Or the honey dragons, for that matter. Oh boy, more of them. And of course, more honeybees are... more, not honeybees. Workers and drone bees are at the end of this. Oh, dang it, I'm out of energy. Okay. I'm gonna go get some more. Get these, both of these guys. Haha, <laughs> I got you in the back. Nice shot! You thought I missed? I never miss. No, I'm just kidding, I do miss sometimes. And then, if you want to create a shortcut, you can go down here. Of course, there's more enemies that's gonna ambush you. Destroy this honey wall over here. Ah, oh, crap. I was trying to destroy the rest of the honey slimes. You can create another shortcut to go down here. Instead of having to go all the way up there again. Another brawler cow. And a drone. Maybe there's also a hidden room over here. Yeah, here, bear. Thank you. I thought there was something in here. Nope, just drone bees. And some those honey things that contain honey slimes. Oh well. At least get some experience points out of it. Yeah, here. Get rid of you. I thought I killed that stupid cow. There we go. Now he's dead. So I created the shortcut. So now I can move on. Go away, honey slimes. I know you're tasty, but still. And we get a checkpoint. Good. Oh, 
Oh, what are we up here? Oh, it's Invader. Vacate the entrance to the Queen's Chamber. Failure to comply will result in a nasty sting. He doesn't look that menacing. <laughs> I'm just passing through to the mountain. Then this is not the path for you. Turn back and go up. Wait. He's the one that's been ravaging our honey reserves. Is that so? Then her eminence will give us a sizable reward for his capture. Get him! Uh oh. There we go, took out a worker and a drone. And now I'm gonna go ahead and reduce my size back to the minimal. Because up ahead is the boss of World 7. There is one more type of bee that we have yet to face. The bees all form a colony to protect one particular bee. We've dealt with little bees, honey bees, worker bees, and drone bees. But now it is time to face the leader of them all. The Queen! So, you are the trespasser my minions are talking about? <laughs> wow, you look quite elegant compared to the other bees. Ho oh, oh, ho, how quaint. I didn't expect compliments from a troublemaker. <laughs> I'm only trying to get to the mountaintop. The only way to get there is through this hive. I care not for your goals. All I care about is my hive. My kingdom. And you have damaged it severely. <laughs> oh no. I think I know where this is heading. My warriors. Come show this troublemaker your might. For the hive! Brace yourself. So yeah, starting off the Queen Bee's battle, she's just gonna push you all the way back to the entrance, and then just summon hordes of minions at you. Like, she'll summon them in certain patterns, like, first she's got sending out honeybees to try to stop you and fatten you up, and when you make it to her, just start punching away. I will cast you down, and then of course she'll push you back again after a certain amount of time. Oh, um, now she's got worker bees and drone bees attacking me. Yeah, just like a real Queen Bee, she gets her minions to do all the attacking for her. Get back. Alright, so now for our third pattern. It's these honeybees again with the O shape instead of a V shape. Let's make it to her again, start punching away. Be gone. <laughs> Be gone. Nice pun. Oh, now we got honey bears. Get back. Alright, so we gotta keep making through our minions. That's our only four different patterns. Which is the honeybees, the worker drone, and honey dragons, and then just the honey bears. This is kind of funny is you, you, you can use eggs to attack her if you want to do that. That causes more damage. Get back. And that also gets rid of some of your fat content you have from those honeybees. Okay, so now we got the workers and drones. took down the queen. To destroy a queen's throne. The insolence. <laughs> you could just let me go, you know. <laughs> like I said, I only need to pass through. A strong ruler needs to take action. It seems my action was a mistake. Now my riches are also exposed as a result. <laughs> riches, you say? Oof. I should have kept my mouth shut. <laughs> Yay, treasure! So yes, now that we defeated the Queen Bee, we can go to her treasure room. And it's filled with money! And a bunch of these things that contain honey slimes. I mean, they're bees. What, you, what else did you expect to be treasure to them? Honey is their greatest treasure. So yes, we have taken down the bee's leader, the Queen. And of course, the queen is too lazy to actually attack me herself. 
So she was kind of a little bit that, like the Slime King, where he gets his minions to do most of the attacking, except at least the Slime King actually makes an effort to try to harm you by moving towards you, whereas the Queen Bee just sits on her butt the entire time. Or abdomen, for that matter. And now that the Queen has been defeated, we're going to actually go up and head to the mountain. Get a checkpoint just to be safe, and head up. But before we do, there's a hidden popper mushroom right before you go out. Being guarded by a honey bear. Okay, get that. Eat you. And now let's move on. Going up. Alright, here we are. World 8. The mountains. Make sure to keep your guard up. Those are some tough cookies up ahead. It would be a disaster if they got into the hive. <laughs> What's that about tough cookies? Where'd you come from? Get him! Oh, great. Just when you thought the bees were over with. Of course, you get a worker and a drone to ambush you up here. Well, at least now that the bees are taken care of. It should be the last of the bee enemies. Because now moving on, we're going to run to some more tougher enemies. Oh, Dark Dread, what are you doing here? So, you show yourself once more. I knew I was going to regret not destroying you completely. <laughs> you know I won't stop until I fulfill my destiny. You stupid little... The fact that you're seeking me out to vehemently means you understand little. You only see what's on the surface. <laughs> you won't be able to convince me that dominating the island is somehow beneficial. Sometimes sacrifices are unavoidable. I thought you of all would understand that. You are a living representation of that. Trouble is brewing, and it's not me. <laughs> Your words are poison. I'll find my own way. If you were stronger than me, then you'd understand. But you're not. We've established that. Really? Who kicked whose blood back in the Shadowlands? The only way you can prove the strengths of your morales is to make it to my castle and defeat me. I doubt you'd even be able to- <laughs> There goes his phone again. <laughs> that face again. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you going to answer that? Isn't that your mom calling? No, it's nothing. <laughs> What's wrong? You look nervous. It's... None of your business. Okay. <laughs> oh, now we have redesigned versions of the pig enemies, and they're now throwing grenades. So now we have a um, mountain pig warrior, and of course the bombers can now shoot lasers from their eyes. So, because of that, I now call them demo pigs. These are mountain pig fighters. Or mountain fighters. Another demo pig. So yeah, but demo pigs are more annoying now. Or the pig bombers. And now we have a mountain hammer, which causes an ice wave with his hammer instead of a normal wave. And those, the ice wave is a more penetration attack. And of course, being up here, since this is World 8, that means it's going to be a lot tougher. Or the pigs up here will be a lot tougher. Alright. And now that I've got a thousand, let's see. Let's get this ability. Rage Warrior. 35% increased damage with below 50% health. So yeah, whenever you fall below half health, your damage will go up by 35%, which is very good. I can kill you with egg bombs. It's also kind of funny is, if you go this way instead of to the left, because I think left just leads to the normal story, whereas if you go right instead, you'll lead to something else that will be very helpful. I mean, it's not required to go this way, but I highly recommend you do so. You fall down here. You notice this girl's down here. Oh, you have great spiritual energy. <laughs> well, I am a spirit after all. Ooh, then you might be able to help me. I'm looking for a dojo to meditate at. All I know is that it's around here somewhere, and that's purposefully hidden. <laughs> hmm, 
Sounds interesting. Sounds like something I should look for too. Guess I'll look around. Fortunately, I know where that dojo is. Oh, shoot. Have to make it up these platforms to get up there. It's not exactly hidden, considering it's, you can kind of just walk into it. It's not like a secret tunnel you have to go through. But anyway, here, the Mountain Dojo. Oh. Sifu's cave. It appears he's in a trance. Hello? What is this place? I'm meditating. <laughs> oh, sorry to interrupt. Mm -hmm. uh, it's alright. Mm -hmm. I sensed your presence the second you entered the mountains. <laughs> Am I really that noticeable? <laughs> well... Okay, I'm not gonna make a joke about that. <laughs> just who are you, anyways? <laughs> I'm just a humble creature living in this cave. <laughs> For what purpose have you come? <laughs> I'm on a mission to stop Lord Dartred. <laughs> Has his influence not reached you? I'm aware of him, of course. Noble of you to take up such a large task. In fact, I'm sure I could provide you with some assistance. Oh, really? You are an avatar of a guardian spirit. Your abilities are already apparent to me, as I have seen them before. In fact, I can perform such feats myself. Let's just say that my powers are more honed, though. If you can contain a capacity of at least 950, then you are ready for my special training. <laughs> I believe I have achieved this already. <laughs> that is also apparent. <laughs> Please speak to me when you are ready, then. So yes, now we are going to receive special training from Master Sifu to increase our abilities, our fullness this capacity, one more time. <laughs> I sent you are prepared to receive my training. Good. Now, show me how big you can get. <laughs> Alright, here we go. He starts filling himself up with air to try to get to the size that we achieved back in the eating contest. Huh. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Pretty impressive, huh? Very. <laughs> However, you are still not at your full potential. Whoa. You make it look so effortless. When you become a master of your own body, you can achieve great things. I bet you can grow much larger. Ah, amazing! Please teach me. Alright then. Let's begin. Learning from the master. This training is a classic. Good way to increase your resiliency. <laughs> well, give me insight on your current limits. <laughs> so that's my limit. <laughs> Even in this cold pond, you must be able to harness your energy. <laughs> so cold! <laughs> Silence. Focus on your inner peace. How do you feel? <laughs> hmm, this is tolerable. <laughs> then, how about this? <laughs> <laughs> this is quite difficult. <laughs> Part of being large is fighting the weight of clumsiness. <laughs> you must maintain balance before. No, now they're just eating. <laughs> what lesson is this, Seifu? <laughs> you can't skip out on good food if you want your body to recover. <laughs> of course. <laughs> this is my favorite training. <laughs> of course it is. This is like when... Tr like training Poe back in Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> <laughs> You've learned all that I can teach. <laughs> it's time for your final test. <laughs> yes. I am ready, Master. <laughs> we shall see if you truly have the will to pass. <laughs> Don't worry. I can do it. 
Very good. Let us prepare. Now, calm your mind. Accept all things that come to you. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Also, I don't know where that hose is attached, considering it's not in my mouth. Alright, so now he's gonna pump me up to my max limit before and see if I can extend it. Was your limit before? Mm -hmm. Are you ready to proceed? Ha! <laughs> ah, ah, of course! Mm -hmm. Open your mind. Unite with nature. Mm -hmm. Water. Fire. Wind. Earth. Long ago, the four nations lived in harmony. Then, everything changed when the Fire Nation. Ah, uh, what are you talking about? Oh, sorry. Wrong hero quest. Mm. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to explode. Mm -hmm. You can do it. Mm -hmm. This is the final push. <laughs> ah, I, I did it. Mm -hmm. Quite impressive indeed. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> uh, one problem though. <laughs> I can't seem to get up. <laughs> I only said I could help you hold more. <laughs> I didn't say anything about movement. <laughs> ah, that's disappointing. <laughs> this stage of growth is a defense mechanism after all. <laughs> it will allow you to retaliate by shooting projectiles rapidly to get back to mobility. <laughs> I guess that's true. Now, can you help me deflate? <laughs> Thanks for the training. Aha, you were a great student. Almost as good as that fox lad I trained. What? So Katsu trained under you too? Don't think your training is over yet, though. What do you mean? I've sensed even greater potential while you were training. You've been gathering those popper mushrooms to increase your capacity, right? If you keep finding those, you will become bigger. Perhaps one day, even larger than me. That's gonna be awesome! This is all I can do for you, however. Now, proceed. I wish you good luck on your quest. Thanks a lot, Sifu. He's also got a funny about his little cave here. He's also got cartoons on. He's got like a little arcade machine that's kind of like a Mortal Kombat, except it's for monsters. Is it me, or is that a poster of Dark Dread on the wall over there? Ah, I'm not gonna question. I mean, they're both dragons. I'm sure they probably know each other somehow. Yes, now our capacity is at 1,330. Which is quite the improvement. Ow. However, being bigger doesn't make me more resilient to explosions. Like those grenades. <laughs> I just pushed that one big all the way back. It's like, eh, didn't feel it. And there we go, get rid of them. Alright, now moving on this way. Slippery climb. Of course, we got more mountainous pigs. They seem to have made it their home here, up in the top of this mountain. Come here, demo pig, you're gonna die. Okay, if you, even if you can't shoot lasers. Surprised you're not a robot, considering you can shoot lasers from your eyes. Then again, just might, might just be the mask. Alright, let's go up here. 
You also gotta watch out for those bicycles in the walls. Because those are penetration. They're just like spikes. And of course they will hurt you if you touch them. Ow. Stupid grenades. That's it, you're going down. I wasn't touching him. Shouldn't be doing that. Can't wall jump up there. Oh! Of course, right into another freaking brawler cow. More mountain fighters. And now let's go wall jump up here. Of course, there's a pig gourmet. I don't know why the pig gourmet survive out here. And another demo pig. I only call them demo pigs because because they remind me of uh, Demo Man from Team Fortress 2. You know, Demo Man, the token character brought in to give the game some diversity. You know, because he's Scottish. All right, and now made it here. Wolf's territory. So I'm gonna go ahead and decrease one of my abilities. I'll go ahead and do the body armor. And now that we've done that, I think we're gonna go ahead and end this off here. So next time on Tribal Hunter, we are going to continue trekking up the mountain, get past the wolves' territory, and maybe even run into some more new enemies along the way to Dark Dread's castle. See you guys on the other side.